In the final part of the tutorial, electronic structure calculations with Zhipov, we optimize the geometry of carbon monoxide molecule with Zhipov. Zhipov utilizes heavily the atomic simulation environment, which is a Python package for several atomic scale simulation related tasks that are not computationally expensive. These include, for example, setting up the atomic structures and optimizing atomic structure based on the calculated forces and energies. Atomic simulation environment relies on external software, called calculators, to perform the heavy computations. As example, atomic simulation environment provides atomic positions, calculator determines the forces acting on the atoms and the total energy, which atomic simulation environment can then use for providing improved atomic positions to calculator. In addition to Chipov, several other calculators can be used with atomic simulation environment, typically with minimal changes in the input files. The input files for atomic simulation environment are actually Python scripts. However, the format is very simple, so that no knowledge of Python is required for using atomic simulation environment. On the other hand, knowledge of Python enables very flexible scripting within the input file. Atomic simulation environment includes also a simple graphical user interface, which is most useful for analysis. Let's have a step-by-step -step look through an input file. Atomic simulation environment has large amount of functionality and the input files start typically by defining which functionality to use by importing different modules. In this example, we import the atoms module for setting up the atomic structure and the write function for outputting the atomic positions. The structural optimization will be performed with the quasi-Newton module and as actual calculator we use Gpov. First, we set up the starting atomic structure. We specify the elements by the atomic symbols and give them the Cartesian coordinates of atomic positions in the corresponding order. Carbon will reside at the origin and oxygen at the distance d which we initially set to 1.1 angstroms in the z-direction. As we are studying a finite molecule, the periodic boundary conditions are put to false. Next, we define the computational cell such that the molecule is in the center of the cell and there is four angstroms of empty space in each direction. We finalize the setup by writing out the atomic positions in the crystallographic information file format. Let's execute the script now. We can check that the atomic configuration looks reasonable by opening the CIF file with the Atomic Simulation Environment's graphical user interface as a GUI. By holding the right mouse button, it is possible to rotate the molecule and by clicking on an atom, we can see it's simple and its position and if we now hold down the control key and click on another atom, we can see the bond length. Ok, let's proceed now with the actual calculation. Next, we define the chip of calculator. We use the default real space mode and grid spacing of 0.2 angstroms. For exchange correlation, we use here the local density approximation and specify also the name of the text output file. At this point, the calculator has no knowledge of atomic configuration or the simulation cell, so we attach the calculator to the atoms object. Now, our atoms object can utilize GPOV when needing energies and forces. Finally, we set up a quasi-Newton optimizer. As an input, we provide the atoms object and file names to store the atomic trajectory during the optimization analog file. For the trajectory, we use here Atomic Simulation Environment's custom .draw format. The actual optimization is then performed so that the forces acting on atoms will be smaller than 0.05 electron volts per angstrom. Let's perform the calculation now with four CPU cores. While waiting for the calculation to finish, I will tell you a joke. A mathematician, a physicist and an engineer are riding a train through Scotland. 
The engineer looks out the window, sees a black sheep and exclaims, Hey, they've got black sheep in Scotland. The physicist looks out the window and corrects the engineer. Hmm, strictly speaking, all we know is that there is at least one black sheep in Scotland. The mathematician looks out the window and corrects the physicist. Well, strictly speaking, all we know is that is that at least one side of one sheep is black in Scotland. Okay, we see that the calculation has finished now, so let's have a quick look through the text output. As an example of things written in the text output, we can see the atomic positions, the information about the simulation cell and the real space grid, for example the number of grid points in each direction and the grid spacings. Next section of the file contains information related to the utilized PAW approximation. We can see also information about the parallelization and then how the self-consistent cycle has proceeded. The atomic trajectory during the optimization can be also investigated with the ASEGUI tool. We see how the energy has changed during the optimization and how the atomic movements look like. It is possible to plot several things. As an example, we'll plot the bond length and its development during the optimization. I hope you find this tutorial useful and are now ready to start using GPOV. More information and tutorials can be found in Atomic Simulation Environment and GPOV web pages.